Sorry, say again. Anna. Hi, Anna. How are you going? Um, yeah, just uh, your anticipation for game on Friday night after the Um, yeah, like we're we're pretty happy. We've got a good side on the field. Um, you know, we've had a good day today preparing, and um, obviously one more hit out tomorrow. Captain's run and been into it Friday night. So, um, yeah, like we're happy with our preparation and uh, happy with the squad that we've assembled for, for, for Friday night. Uh, yeah, as Dave said, we've had a good good few days. Uh, we brought over a pretty strong squad, I feel. And you know, for the boys that played here last year, it's it's nice to be back. It's uh, familiar surroundings. Uh, we're pretty pleased with the support we got last year, and I think, well, hopefully, the people of Fiji will recognise that um, it's a Chiefs home game, and it's our, our decision to to bring the game here to Fiji. And hopefully, us the support will will uh, they'll recognise that and be back in us. Yeah, I mean, the weatherman says that maybe it'll be all right Friday night. Obviously, it's, we're going to get a few showers uh, tomorrow like we did today. So well, whatever the weather throws up, we'll deal with it. You know, we played the Hurricanes and, and pretty much a storm. Uh, the Sunwolves game was wet as well. And so, um, you know, in, in the end, we may kick a little bit more if that's the case. But we'll still play plenty of footy. With the secretary, how will you stop the procedures there and then and, and run? What are your plans for this weekend? Um, oh, there's no doubt. There's, there's set piece and the big men up front have been the catalyst uh, for their performances. So um, we've got to be competitive there. We, uh, but I think if we can uh, get a solid base to work off our scrum and line out, can provide some good ball, then we can hopefully put them under a bit of pressure. But yeah, they've, they've been impressive. But, um, what we saw last week was um, an arm wrestle between a couple of big sides, and oh, I think this Friday will be no different. Chris has managed to shut down Hurricane's kicking game. You just brought up that you could uh, implement a kicking game. How do you think that will work against the Crusaders? Who are you? Um, probably you. Um, well, I think all the talk prior to that game was Bone and Barrett's cross kicks. Um, yeah, we, we'll certainly you know, endeavour to mix up the kicking game. Um, they're very good at playing territory to Crusaders, and uh, if you get sucked into running the ball back from under your post all the time, you're, you're going to put yourself under pressure. So we want to mix it up. We want to play, um, but you know, in, in the end, it's about playing what's in front of you. And, and there's a variety of kicking options that we've looked at that hopefully we can put on the park and pressure them. Do you have a game plan in uh, particular for uh, the Crusaders' scrum? Yeah, uh, I mean as loose forwards, pretty much as the loose forwards and locks, our, our role doesn't change. We just need to push hard and as hard as we can for as long as we can until the ball's in and out. Uh, I know our, our front row have a bit of a plan. Uh, I've done some work this week with our, with our scrum coach and forwards coach, so um, we'll come in prepared, but we uh, we know it's a big challenge, but at the same time, we uh, we back the guys we have up front to do a good job, and, and we'll be uh, supporting them from behind. Uh, Sam, just the last one for my end. Uh, you and Mackenzie are the two famous names of the little kids here in Fiji look after their own names. So uh, just a message to them for Friday night, and also just a bit of advice from your side uh, in terms of their rugby career. <laughs> Well, that's nice to hear. Uh, I'm not surprised, Damien. He's a he's definitely a crowd favourite and someone that uh, everyone loves to watch. So, hopefully, we'll sit, get to see him going for a few attacking darts on Friday. Uh, to young aspiring Fijian players, uh, obviously, I don't think I think everyone here in Fiji, New Zealand, you know, they they play the game of rugby because they enjoy it, and it's important that they never forget that. But at the same time, uh, you know, I think to to make it professionally, you have to have a really strong work ethic. Um, those who work the hardest generally get the furthest. Um, and on top of that, you have to be really open to advice and, and coachable. So when people are trying to um, improve you as a person, as a rugby player, you need to be able to take those things on board. 
and, and put them to use. So I know there's so much talent here. We've uh, seen a wee bit of it in the Chiefs side in, in recent years. And um, yeah, congratulations to the Fijian side on taking home the gold medal, I think. From New Zealand's point of view, if we couldn't do it, um, everyone was pretty happy to see Fiji taking home. Beautiful. Any other last comments you want to make for the Friday night uh, derby? Um, oh, look, I think it's, it's been already been said. We got a lot of respect for the Crusaders. Um, they've been in, in really good form, and um, but you know, there's there's not much between the New Zealand sides on any given night, and um, we just got to get it right for 80 minutes. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much.